Mm. So have you ever uh put much thought into like who's gonna be invited to the wedding? Do you got some people that can't come to the wedding? You got do you have a list of people that can't come to the wedding? I have a list of people that I just don't want to come to the wedding. So I was wondering if you had a list of people that you don't want to come that's not invited. Which one? Yeah. You have a list of people that you don't want to come to the wedding. Yeah. Like, so do you think, do you think we need to have, like, is there anybody on my side that you feel that can't come to the wedding? Like, I have, I have one person that on your side that's on my list that can't come to the wedding. Well, that's just, I, I don't want, I want to talk about it. I want to talk about it. Because I've never been married before, so I want to make sure I understand how this works. Well, so who pays for the wedding? Does the, the Who pays for the wedding? Well, normally, normally, traditionally, the bride's father or family pays for the wedding. Um, all right. Okay, all right. So, so your dad's supposed to pay for the wedding. All right, okay, okay. We ain't going to get into all of that. Okay. All right. So... That's how it's supposed to go. Yes. All right. So, did you know that 90% of the marriages that don't last, that most of them are because the guy got down on the wrong knee? Well, make sure you on the right knee, right? Say what? Make sure you down on the right knee. If I get down on both knees, does that matter? Does it count? You want me on both knees? <laughs> So, but yeah, so you, so you already have your maid of honors and, and maybe what they call it, maid of honor and bridesmaids. That's a lot of people. So do they have to pay to come to the wedding? Which means? They got to pay to get in? Depending on what we decide to do, yeah. What about the maid of honors? Do they got to pay? Yeah, it's depending on what we They gotta pay to be in the wedding? I mean they gotta pay for their dress and stuff. Oh. And if we got like a designation where we can like that, they gotta pay for the dress. Go back to who you don't want on my side to be in the wedding. Who you say who I don't want on your side to be in the wedding? So wait, so you really don't have a list of people that you don't want to be there? No, I really mess with these people, but they just can't be at my wedding. Oh God, yeah, I don't know. Is it that you just don't want people to see us get married? What? You know what, Scotty? Don't pressure. What kind of what kind of insecure stuff is that? What kind of shit is that? Like, who do you not want to be at the wedding? If I can, I all right. Look, here's here's the thing, and I don't want you to take this in an offensive way, but. I feel like if this is the one thing that I want to happen, you know, at our wedding, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like it's big enough for me that it's a deal breaker that if they, they can't be at the wedding, dog. Okay, well, come on. Come on, look at Come on. Who? Who are you talking about? Your mama, your mama can't be at the wedding. So you don't want your mama can't be at the wedding, dog. Anybody could come to your mama can't come to the wedding. Because all she do is stare up there. All she do is stare up there. And she always loud and all over the place. She don't want to control everything. Your mama cannot come to the wedding. And I, and I, what you mean I don't want to marry you? So you, so you going to choose your mama over me? Your daddy already not paying for the wedding. So then your daddy, you know what? Neither one of them can come to the wedding at this point. I'm tired of this.